my name is Per Carlson and I'm a member of the Adventist Church in Gothenburg in Sweden. Well, we had a situation in, in uh, the f autumn of uh, 2015 where lots of people were coming into Sweden and especially this part of Sweden and people were uh, finding themselves in the streets, not having anywhere to sleep. And we just started talking about that. Uh, we should really do something in the church. And then one day I was phoned by one of the... the uh, responsible people here in the in the church and they said we have people coming now could you come and take care of them and i said okay yeah that's how we got involved mm -hmm. <laughs> it just seemed natural i mean it was i had the opportunity to do it and there was the need the people who had nowhere to go and so we just met that demand it felt natural well first we we provided somewhere for them a shelter for the night so that was how we started out and it was uh, there were lots of people coming through they were traveling traveling on from here, uh, going in all kinds of directions, but they needed a shelter for the night. And we provided that a bed, uh, an air mattress usually. And we, we, we had lots of people staying over every night. And then they went, most of them went the next morning and we prepared some food for them, breakfast before they went and uh, talked to them, of course, that's, that's the, first thing we did and many people actually said that since they had been on their way this was the first time they met a friendly reception really and and that made an impression on me that that we could actually do that for people mm. i mean when you when you uh open up to other people when you meet other people you always get something back. So, I mean, it's, it's a sort of mutual thing that you can give something to somebody and they can give something back. And I think it's, it's been a great opportunity to get to know other people because some of these people stayed longer time and we really got to develop a relation with them. Well, I think that it's um, made me more aware of the situation around the world when you get to know people who have actually experienced being refugees. Uh, it's, it's easier to, to understand the situation than if you just see it on television. It makes it more personal, it comes nearer. And in that way, it's changed my life more. Even I also went down to a trip to Greece and, and worked for just a short time receiving uh, refugees. And that made it even, even more close. I think some people think that it's you have to make a political statement or something by working with the refugees, but you don't. I say, these people are here now, so let's, I mean, it's an opportunity to do something for people who are actually placed in our way. There are so many people coming from countries we could never have any contact with, and we've had the opportunity to present the gospel for them and it's it's really been something we couldn't have done otherwise so i think uh, uh, we should use the opportunity hmm. yeah if every swede every established swede should know two people newly arrived by name that would so much help the whole situation of integration. So just think that if you don't know two people that you can name, there's a task for you. Yeah. <laughs>